Hello everyone, so today we will talk a little bit about subdivisions and a um, little bit about the textures and how much subdivisions do we need. As you know, from our perspective, this cube still is a cube, but if we want to have it a bit rounded, we definitely need more geometry. Yeah, same as well in here. And uh, in real life there is no such sharp angles okay so what we can do how we will indicate and um, why yeah so let's check this first one example it's a let's say geo so let's press free and check this out we'll go to the frontal view as you can see we don't have even a straight line in here and round angles we have all this shape round yeah and you see this uh, like a like a vertex points that indication of missing geometry definitely if you will go further you will add um, let's say geometry or a smooth uh, on the geometry or something like that but let's pretend that we want to have a uh, this let's say corners but as well and uh, straight lines so what we will do I will select these ed edges yeah okay it will take a bit of time to select that okay great i think that i've selected everything and just do the bevel remove the chamfer and uh, it's look pretty pretty nice so let's check how it will look from the front view and as you can see it's definitely looking great however we must understand that these guys these supportive lines are moving yeah so um, in this particular scenario when we had a uh, very soft let's say everything you can see okay let's try to select this object and try to lift it a bit to stay on the line as uh, previously you saw that it was all the shape just uh, round corners yeah so you must understand that how close that edge is to this uh, let's say to this part then smaller the arc will be yeah in our case you can see it going even inside and it will be an error however you always can add if you need geometry and it will be closer and this line will be a support for that line so only in that line will be that bending and on the second we'll try to maintain the straight line yeah okay let's check this area as it looks like a bit of a bending it's happening so definitely you can add supportive line or maybe even two closer to the corners and we will be sliding just a bit so if you will compare this angle and this angle you will see the difference same on the top how straight line going and how bending in here yeah okay so you will say and it doesn't ring a bell and it doesn't matter for you maybe if your pipeline is supporting it 
it's very cool but if not let's check this out what is happening on a different layer so um, we have a simple cube I've just assigned the simple texture simple uh, let's say new material assigned and uh, I've assigned it uh, simple UV checker great so let's press 6 in order to see the UVs and uh, what is happening when we're pressing 3 you see that cube deforms to a circle okay so definitely we need to select the edges press ctrl B remove the chamfer probably I will shrink the fraction a bit to 0.2 for example yeah it's almost yeah it's very closely aligned to this area good let's try to smooth it again we're maintaining the shape of the cube so you will say everything is cool are you sure okay so what is happening in the uv's let's open uv's as you can see we'll select to show our uh, checkerboard this one or a texture checkerboard let's say yeah because you have a default in mind here and I've just loaded a um, texture with a checkerboard okay so you can see these rounded corners going like that and it is distortion on the UVs so you need to maintain as much as possible straight lines and have let's say to add more supportive lines in order to strengthen them yeah so what we can do as I mentioned it just to add some supportive lines and uh, let's go and let's play a bit with a pinch I will try to do the same square I can hear great let's check it out as you can see in here it's a better situation right now yeah and uh, probably we're missing one more in here in order to fix this bending okay so let's try to do it let's add one more you see everything is looking great moving great okay let's add in here one more and you see when we are adding geometry wait a second i will select that edge in order to better see and i'll remove our okay so we was on the, that corner yeah and that corner needs to have a support same in here and in all to be honest places we need to add such support like in here as you can see right now we have much more strafe lines so uh, there's no such bending let's say can do the same thing in our corners in order to, to check it so basically your geometry relying on a lot of things not only you know in order them to look squares but definitely if you have too small geometry and only the visual need to be done with a simple plain flat shader it doesn't matter but if you will be working with uh, textures you must to understand that you need to increase sometimes geometry you need to understand how supportive lines are working so i hope that this tutorial will bring some clarity on that okay so stay, stay tuned and cheers and goodbye